from the desk of Mr. Khan. Dearest Matilda, in response to your most thoughtful questions, uh, my hat rack is filled with the most fashionable bouffant hats in all of serfdom. I do not believe in dwarves, and Thoreau, not Emerson, was the man who invented raisin bread. Is that damn giraffe again? Ah, oh, blast! See what I've written. <clears throat> Did you know that Walt Whitman donated his brain to science and some chemistry, uh, some clumsy technician had it tossed in the trash? <laughs> Dude, it is most <clears throat> peaceful here on the ceiling. <clears throat> That's the opium talking. <sighs> Wait. Shouldn't it be spelled dwarfs? <clears throat> How is your stamp collection going? Does... Brian still watch reruns of Charlie's Angels? Oh, wonderful. Every time I see an adult on a unicycle, I no longer despair for the future of the human race. Huh. Speaking of humans, uh, should you happen to be in Russia, look up a fellow named Leo Tolstoy. He's a very distant relative of mine, and quite the avid vegetarian. But I guess nobody is perfect. Oh, good heavens. Look at the time! Uh, I must be off to raid one of the neighboring kingdoms. You know, I will always remember uh, dear old Grampy and his advice. Pillage, then burn. Anywho, it was a pleasure to hear from you again, uh, and I agree. Ayn Rand did sport a preposterous hairstyle for more than half a century. Wish you were her, yours in perpetuity, Kubla Khan.